Guess what day it is? Vlog day! Hello YouTubers, subscribers and friends. Welcome to my channel. The butterflies are still here. There's a lot of them. There's more now than there was uh, two days ago. Oh, Mr. Rabbit. Walking around the park. I'm not seeing too many uh, wildlife, but check out these butterflies here. How close I can get to them. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's a lot of them. Do you know what kind of plant that is? I wasn't looking at the plant, I was looking at the butterflies. Oh, I know, but... No, I have no idea what kind of plant this is. Freaking gnats everywhere. There's another plant just like that, which I have no idea what this plant is, but the butterflies seem to like this plant. It's a smaller butterfly right there. And, uh, oh, this one's flying around my head. Get some butterfly flying action. There's more over there. There's a lot. There's a lot more today than there was the other day and I came through here. They're flying all around me. Very cool. Nature in action. You know. Freshly cut grass. The smell is, is uh, smells very nice, man. It's, the grass is actually wet and then it cuts it and it, very strong smell. So, uh, yesterday I, uh, there was a horny toad in my yard. My wife like, comes in and says, hey, there's a horny toad out there. You want to go catch it? And I was like, nah. She's like, you're not going to grab your camera and film it? I was like, nah. And she's like, why? She was actually, my wife was actually shocked because First time I've ever said, I don't feel like catching something or filming something. And uh, I, I don't know why. I just didn't feel like doing it. I don't know. I still don't know why. It's amazing. But what it did make me do is go back to some... Man, that grass smells incredible. It made me go back and check out even more older videos I have of uh, horny toads. I got a ton of horny toad videos on my uh, channel so uh, I took one of the older videos and I edited it cut it up a little bit and uh, I'm going to add it to this video so if you're interested in seeing horny toes check out this clip look what I got look girls look Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Josie my dog Josie she wants to eat it Ronnie she's just smelling it Oh, he's fluff, blowing himself up. He sees the dog. Look his eyes open. I let him smell everything I catch. That way they know what is what. Like when I kill a snake, I let him smell it. Josie always wants to eat whatever I, I catch. But uh, I just let him smell it. It's about I don't know, 9.45 in the morning. He'll take up take up running. Look at he's breathing. Show his belly. Tries to stick you with his horns on the back of his head. Sticking his tongue out. Yeah. Yeah. Stick your tongue out again. Belly really, 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 really soft. Extremely soft. So, my first horny toad of the summer. I'll let him go. Put him back here. And. They're off. Rock River. Well, that's a pretty cool horny toad. Uh, I catch more horny toads and wildlife in my yard than I see out here in the wide open desert. Even though I do live out in the country, uh, it just amazes me how much many wildlife that I've caught, physically caught with my hands in my own yard. 
I just walked past this guy over here. Yeah, I see every day he walks his two little dogs. He said, uh, be careful, there's a rattlesnake over there. I don't know, he's messing with me, or if there really was one, because I was looking right over here. I see no snake anywhere. And, uh, it just, uh, I've been walking over a year in this park. I've never once yet seen a snake. I've seen so many other things. But yeah, if you, like I said before, if you like uh, seeing wildlife, what is that in the road there? Check out my older videos. I got all kinds of horny toads, snakes, birds. Oh, this is a this is a dead frog. What happened to this frog? Huh? I'll flip you over. Oh, is he dead or is he? Oh, I think he's done. It's like blood right there. Poor dude. Somebody ran you over. See that? This is what freaks me out is the, the wildlife that I, I see on a, on a constant basis. Poor guy. I don't know if he's going to die, but I'm not picking him up and doing anything with him. He definitely looks like he's struggling. Back of his legs are broken or something. I don't know. Poor fella. Poor little guy. Somebody ran him over. How can you not see a big frog like that? Not paying attention. Where are you driving? It's not like you're doing 50 miles per hour here in the park or anything. But yeah, uh, I don't know what happened to all the ravens. They get easily sidetracked. If you like checking out older videos, check out my older videos of wildlife. If you want to see more horny toads, just type in horny toads, I seek out the truth. Or snakes, I seek out the truth. Or owls, I seek out the truth. And they will bring up all my other uh, older footages. Um, this horny toad one is pretty old, it's like four years old. And uh, my uh, camera skills were, were terrible back then. If you watch the whole original video, I, I watched it and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I filmed this video like this. Not, not that I'm a professional videographer even now, but my recording skills have, in editing have gotten better now than they were four or five years ago. Especially even 10, I watched some that I made over 10 years ago videos. I just crack up laughing. The way that I talk, the way that I film, it just cracks me up. There's yellow butterflies on this tree. There it goes, flying around there. Butterflies are out. Oh look, check out the moon. I can zoom in on it. Third day in a row that the moon is out. Maybe that's what's bringing out all these butterflies. If I sell my house, I'm definitely going to miss this park. Because I really, really enjoy coming here, walking, and seeing all this diverse wildlife. Prairie dogs, lizards, rabbits, squirrels, butterflies, bees, whatever those green buzzing bugs are. Roadrunners. I really miss the roadrunners. I have not seen a roadrunner in the last two weeks anywhere I, mean, I got so used to seeing roadrunners every time I come here that I don't even see them now I don't even see that many birds here at the park anymore I don't know if it's that time of the year that they migrate someplace else or, or what's going on but the weather is getting cooler it's only 80 degrees right now compared to the 120 degrees we've been having in the summer it's hot, but it's not as hot as it used to be. The nights are cooler. I don't even have to run my AC at night. It's nice and breezy right now. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss the mountains and miss this uh, this park. Because it's uh, very relaxing to walk and see all this nature. Well, uh, if you like this video or any of my other nature videos, Click that like, hit that subscribe, it don't cost anything, it's free. But like always, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm gone. Get, get, get gone.